Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Poor, the place where faith and culture are served together. My name is Father Christian. With me today is a professional prayer warrior person. Her name is Jan Rogan, and for some reason, she said yes to coming on this show. Yay! It is our uh, tradition here that I purchase a drink that re really resembles the guest. So for you, dear sister, I've picked path sparkling raspberry orange sparkling water a lot, lot of sparklings going on there because in your prayer life you show us the path i bought this from one of those expensive organic stores it blew our budget oh, sparkly sparkly cheers mm, it's good yeah, normally it's i buy good. the stuff at walgreens when you go to the fancy organic store it's better. <laughs> That's why you pay more. Until uh, my boss finds out that I just blew the budget on this drink. You are a professional prayer person, PPP. Kind of reminds me of the pandemic with the PPP loan, but you're the PPP person of prayer, okay? He says you are a daughter of the king. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a little sexist? You're not a daughter of a queen? No. No sexism allowed. Would that make you a princess? Sister. But you're I'm a daughter of the king. The, but I'm sister to all the other daughters of the king. I'm a sister <gasps> it's to a so all sisters. So is no, it like in Mad Max no, with all those not. women who have to... <laughs> no, no, is this an intervention? No. Tom, is this an intervention? <laughs> the grass is greener, honey. Daughters of the king provide prayer, service, and evangelism. Who's the king? God. God. Oh, the king, I thought we were doing a thing on cults. <laughs> no... Cult. You're not a princess, you're a sister. Mm -hmm. The king is not some weird guy in some shacked house. That would have been a cool show. <laughs> yeah, but instead, right. you are a, a, a sister of prayer to God the king. Mm -hmm. See how far we've already come? What is a typical day or what does the uh, daughter of the uh, king do? Well, we, we pray. We pray a lot. We have prayer lists that we pray from and we pray daily as a group yes daily every day first thing i have coffee with god i get my coffee and go in my office and that's good you know, coffee with i read from daily prayer the forward forward scripture. day by day yes day by day and then i read jesus calling and time with god and so when you are praying for all these people how much do you charge is it like if Nothing. i ask you to all from the heart and the soul of us that we pray for you whatever your need may be. I'm gonna go out on a limb right now, and I'm gonna assume you like to pray. Yes, I do. Prayers from other people have saved me, have actually saved my life. When I was younger, I was in a terrible car accident, I had pulmonary embolism, and was in a coma for two weeks. And prayer just abounded around me. I had prayer shawls, immense prayers from many, many people from my family. And here I am. I never died. I'm still here. And we pray as daughters. We pray for other people, whatever their need may be, um, illness, emotional, um, praise, thanking God for mm. what he's done for them. How do you know it was prayer that saved your life? Because I believe in prayer. I believe in prayer that God listens to you and works through that prayer as you work through the prayer and brings me life. I'm, yeah. I'm here and, and it works. I think the person that's praying is rewarded. I think the people that are praying for you are rewarded when they see the results. They're not always good though. I mean, just because you pray, you know, God, I want this to happen. It doesn't happen instantly or it may not happen at all in the time frame that you want it because God works in his own time. But then again, maybe nothing happens or maybe something bad happens, but there's a reason for that, that God wants to bring that person closer to him, develop their faith for him. He sees what you're going through and probably helps you to see him to Look up to him for help. Would you agree that perhaps the challenges that we go through and the tragedies, that God can take them and say, if you trusted me in prayer by following me, mm -hmm. I, will, I will redeem it. I'll, I'll make something beautiful or, or life-giving out of this so-called death moment. Most definitely. Okay, because if you weren't going to agree with me, I'd probably have to ask you to leave. <laughs> How do you think prayer has changed your life? I've, I've had a lot of struggles in my life and Prayer, through my prayer to God, it's helped me survive.
through the struggles. Prayer gave me the confidence to know that things would turn out well with each struggle that I, I went through. Not as I was starting to go through them. If I kept praying, I would get the confidence that it's gonna be okay, Jan. Perhaps, because we're all children of God, that the power and the strength that we need to get through the challenges of life is always there. Mm -hmm. And prayer helps us in relationship with God to reveal that strength and reveal that hope yes. to endure and that resilience. So sometimes we think that God just gave it to us as a gift or maybe it was always there mm -hmm. as children of God, as daughters and sons of the King. Right. You see, I just, yes. that, that, was, yes. that was a yeah. high five. High five. Are you praying right now? No. Okay. But sometimes. Because I didn't feel it. <laughs> I want to feel it. If you were going to pray right now, what would you be praying for? You. <laughs> Help curb your silliness. <laughs> Please no make reverence. this priest reverent. <laughs> Meditation. Is it cool or is it weird? Cool. The most boring prayer in the Episcopal service. I don't have any boring prayers. I don't, I can't. Uh, what is the most exciting prayer? Oh, the Our Father. Who do you think <laughs> prays more? Travis Kelsey or Taylor Swift? Oh, God. Neither one. Who do you think prays less? Beyonce or J-Lo? Oh, gee. I ask this one of all the guests that come on the show. Where will the church be in 25 years? Bigger and better than ever. Jan Rogan, you are an incredible woman. Yay! So another cheers to you. Oh, yes. You can take oh, the rest. Thanks. Please do subscribe, like, and share this video with others who would like to enjoy this stuff. We're always talking about faith and culture. Please watch past episodes that take on a lot of big different topics, such as who is Gen Z and why is knowing the other so important to our growth as human beings. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.